friends. So I am back. I kind of took some time off for personal reasons and I do kind of want to get into that. I want to do kind of like a life update and intentions for my channel and just kind of let you guys know what's going on. I have a lot of really awesome content planned. Um, but yeah, I took some time off. Um, for the past several weeks and I am back with a grocery haul today. I'm gonna show you what's in my fridge and then I went shopping at Aldi. We're kind of really sticking to a budget. That was kind of the way that I started this channel was kind of budget shopping with Aldi, Walmart, kind of comparing different stores. Um, Publix and whatnot. Publix is my favorite, but it's so expensive. So yeah, I'm getting back into Aldi and budgeting and just trying to get uh, as healthy meals as I can while also being practical with what my family will eat and what I can cook at home versus ordering out and just trying to find a balance with it all. Um, just kind of wanted to catch up a little. It's been a little while since I posted anything and I am happy to get back into it and I hope you guys are as well and yeah let's just get right into the fridge tour if you will and the grocery haul. All right, so I figured it was great to start with a fridge tour. Uh -huh, guys, I didn't plan on doing this, so I didn't clean anything and throw any old food out. So we're just gonna go in here, get right into it, and let's see what I got. So these are my kids' absolute favorite. They are perfect bars. So they actually have two different types. They have like the big size, which is like, like super big, and then they have snack size, which is perfect for the kids. They're refrigerated bars. Um, they're organic, non-GMO. They just got a lot of good stuff in them. Um, and they're like a protein bar. And they have peanut butter. And then they also have this one. They have a bunch of flavors, but my kids like the dark chocolate chip, peanut butter, and then normal peanut butter. So I have these in here. But I have to keep them on the top shelf because if my kids see that they're in, like this is their snack drawer down here. If my kids see it, they will eat them all day because they love them. So. This is my wellness section over here. I've talked about it in my previous video, which I'll link below, um, because I've always had this in my fridge. I have my elderberry and raw honey, which I swear by for cold and flu season, allergy season. This is through Sprigs Life. I will link their website as well because they're an amazing small company and they have really great um, supplements and herbal things. They're just awesome, so I love them. And then I also have their Oh, is this focusing? Morning Joy. Um, this may give away um, the reason that I've been a little bit absent because this is morning sickness uh, drops, which are really great. And yeah, so I will be posting an updated video soon and you will know why that's in my fridge. But I like to keep my supplements in the fridge to keep them cool, um, refrigerated rather. It just kind of makes them taste better. And in my opinion, like it kind of, it doesn't exactly extend their shelf life, but it just overall keeps them fresh. I have my probiotic, Life 9, with Young Living. I have this gem over here. I don't use it because it just kind of smelled off to me, but I am going to try back again and see what I can use it for. It is a Hawaiian, Hawaiian, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood Hydrosol spray. So I don't exactly use it because I didn't love the smell, but we'll get there. And then this is children's cough and mucus syrup with Wellmints for little colds for my guys. And then I have my single serve Ningxia pouches. I love these, I swear by these. And I have just like a bunch in the, all the way back. Okay, so let's move these and see, all right. Ooh, this is kind of an awkward angle here. All right, so I got like half a thing of this applesauce. So that's good. And then a big thing of feta. I don't know what's back there. What is that? Is that more? this back. It's more probiotic. Is this empty? No, this is full. That's more probiotics. I must have just fallen. Oh, and I do have another probiotics back here too. I just have like a bunch in the fridge just to keep them fresh. Okay. So we had feta. We had applesauce. Or anyone through that. We have some relish. We have some nacho cheese. Okay. And then I do have like this random jar of marinara that I've kind of just used as I needed it. A big thing of ricotta which I'm not exactly sure how long that's been in there. Probably should toss that. We're not gonna look at that because I'll just embarrass myself downright. Okay, 
cucumber garlic dill tzatziki. We love to use this. Um, it's actually really good for veggie dip, but we love this when we do like our Greek nights um, and we get to do like feta, chicken, ooh, feta, chicken, lettuce, tomato, olives, Greek dressing, which I actually have back here. And then the tzatziki sauce is really good with Greek wraps too and Greek food in general, like a salad or anything. So we have the Greek dressing as well. We have chip dip. We actually have two things of chip dip because we're going to a party tomorrow. So we're gonna bring some chip dip. So I already had this from shopping earlier this week. So that is going to the party. We have some hummus. It's a little bit old, so I don't I don't know how good that is still actually. I'm sure it's all right. Okay, we have a jar of pesto. The camera is not focusing that great today. And then I do have some blue cheese like hidden in the back. Oof, hidden in the back, I didn't know that was there. Um, a thing of mayonnaise back there, and then a big thing of baby spinach, which will be used for dip. I'm gonna make spinach artichoke dip as well. Some chips and dip. I'm making a bunch of stuff. So, I'm just kind of throwing everything to be out of the way. Put this back up here. There is no organization whatsoever. Sorry. All right, next. I got a little thing of crescent rolls. My husband loves corned beef hash. He's been on a kick, so some corned beef hash because he only ate half. I don't eat this stuff, um, but we only ate, he only ate half at a time, so that's the leftovers of that. Crescent rolls. This is leftover. Oh my god, I have another thing of mayonnaise back here. Oh, you guys, you guys gotta look at your fridge because this is kind of like, what will we find? Half an onion. Okay, some leftover food. This is French toast which I meant to give the kids with their breakfast today, so that's good that we found that. This is some Spanish rice, um, blueberries, and then a thing of spring mix salad. That's good. And then a bunch of cream cheese. I have strawberry cream cheese, blueberry cream cheese, and pumpkin spice cream cheese. My husband and my kids love the flavored cream cheeses like this, and my husband was so sweet. He knows how I am with pumpkin stuff, and he grabbed this from me when he went to the store a while back, so that was really nice of him. I don't know what you guys use your drawer for, but with our fridge, it's it's not like a double wide fridge or anything. It's just a standard fridge, and this is kind of like the cheese and meat drawer, um, lunch meat rather. So we have half a block of cheese, and then I have some leftover salami, or wait, this is pepperoni. Yes, this is pepperoni, and this is the salami. Oof, a little bit nasty back there. It's good that I do this video, then I hold myself accountable to clean it. Okay, some salami. We have some ham, honey deli ham. And then two packs of cheddar cheese slices. Um, they're both open, somehow that happened. So just tell me I'm not the only one that that happens to. Throw this back in here. Oh, and then this is regular cream cheese. In case I missed not saying that. That's regular cream cheese. Okay. Moving on, we have some kiwis and oh, some whole strawberries that I um, defrosted from the freezer. So those are here. This is bacon. I cooked a big thing of bacon last night, so I put half, um, we ate half, and then I put the other half just some, in some tin foil for probably a recipe for tomorrow. Like I said, I'm making a bunch of goodies for tomorrow, so that's there. And then this is a squash and a zucchini. So we have the Stonyfield yogurt, that is my favorite. Um, this one's organic Stonyfield probiotic yogurt, vanilla whole milk, and then this one's organic Greek plain. Um, so love both of these, love this brand. I think the kids still have, yeah. We also, I mean I'll get to their drawer, but we also have in pouches, we are big lovers of the Stonyfield brand. It's tasty, it's good for you, packed with a bunch of good stuff. Okay. We have a plethora of milk happening right now. We have 1% milk. We have almond milk in the back. And then I think this was like, ooh, this one is skim milk. So yeah, we just kind of got a bunch going on for whatever they had. And then I do have a big bottle of my Ninja in the back. Whoa, terrible camera view. Um, a big bottle of my Ninja in the back. So that is just the big bottle version of the single serve packs that are up here. Okay. And then coming over to the door, I feel that this is the most exciting of like random sauces and array of things. Uh, I have butter, we have a squirt Chick-fil-A sauce, and then little Chick-fil-A sauces, or Chick-fil-A lovers. And I do have um, 
the Perfect Bars. Like I was saying, they have big sizes. So these are the big sizes, just to show you guys, because we are fans of these. We really like these. That's the big size, like adult size, if you will. And then that's like the little baby, the little kid size. So how perfect. How, oh, that's, that's funny. How perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm ridiculous. Okay, so. Kalmata olives, love that with the Greek salads or the Greek wraps when we do Greek night. Some jelly. I love the preserves. The, uh, what, what brand is this? I might say this wrong. Bon Maman strawberry reserves. Reserves? Preserves. Some market from, market, my goodness. Some mustard from Thrive Market. And some banana peppers. Some pickles, some ranch dressing, some barbecue sauce, more blue cheese, soy sauce. Hidden back here is Parmesan, some taco sauce, some random hot sauce, horseradish, and more, oh no, Caesar dressing. And then moving down here, this is a stain that will not come off. I even, I tried like soap, water, my Thieves Cleaner. You guys know I am tried and true with the Thieves Cleaner and I couldn't get it off. So I might need like a magic eraser or something. Some Italian dressing. The squirt sour cream, that's my favorite. I like the squirt sour cream. Huge fans of Frank's hot sauce. There is no other hot sauce that beats it in our opinion. Um, some chocolate syrup, ketchup. The natural bliss, the pumpkin spice coffee creamer. And we do have a little bit of juice, white grape peach. Okay, and then moving down to the kids drawer. We have their Creative Roots waters. I really love these and the kids love these. Um, so it's just like flavored water for the kids. This is not focusing. I apologize for that. Um, this is peach mango and then that's orange pineapple. It's not, um, it's just normal water flavored for the kids. And then like I had mentioned, we love the Stonyfield. So they, these are the pouches like for the little guys and then like my older son or myself will use like that yogurt and if we need like if the little guys they'll just use this like in the morning when I'm like oh, okay here's yogurt with breakfast but if we're doing yogurt like for a snack or something we'll do it in a bowl like that so it's just a couple different ways that we have yogurt in the house we do have little applesauce pouches as well and then if we sneak back here I have a few pouches I did a Thrive Market review I'll link this uh, video below um, but Serenity Kids they have like meat pouches. And so this is beef pot roast made with organic vegetables and herbs, bone broth. So that's really great for you. 100% grass fed beef. So they're really intentional with the foods that they put in their pouches. And yeah, I just really love what the company stands for. So there's just various ways to use the, um, the pouches here. And so I have a couple of those beef pot roast and then turkey bolognese. And I had, um, I think, turmeric chicken, and that one was really good. Yeah, so that's everything in that drawer. And then this is kind of like our veggie drawer. This part of the drawer broke off. Um, I have some tomatoes, some grape tomatoes, some carrots, some grapes left over, a few cucumbers, and then some more grape tomatoes back there. That's kind of, oh, and some tomatoes here. So yeah, we just have a bunch of, a bunch of veggies in this drawer. So moving on up to the freezer, some frozen corn, frozen Brussels sprouts, frozen mixed veggies, and a bag of this smoothie blend. I do have some frozen peas, two frozen burritos. These are chicken burritos, organic Greenwise brand, chicken burrito, I think this one's chicken too. Nope, this one's steak. Um, and then a California blend of veggies. So a bunch of veggies and fruit blend over here. Um, and then I do have some orange chicken. So this is just if we're feeling like some type of Chinese food, do this with some rice. We do have these taquitos. If we're just feeling kind of like a junky Mexican night, have some of these. And a bag of mozzarella sticks. <laughs> oh guys, this is bad. I have, if you don't have frozen bananas in your freezer, who are you? Oh, totally joking, but you know, like if you make banana bread often, well, you'll have like your bananas go and then just kind of toss them in the freezer and push them in the back to use another time. Okay. Some chicken nuggets. We have salmon. That's kind of been in here for a little while. 
Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be still good. Okay, another a leftover bag of chicken nuggets, and then a full thing of shrimp. Ooh, I might need to make shrimp cocktail for tomorrow too. Might need to. And then these are actually left over from when we went to Aldi a long time ago. Are these still good? We never really got around to eating these. We tried the broccoli ones. When are these good till? 4-12-23, nice. We never got around to eating the uh, sweet potato ones here, but we did eat the broccoli ones. They were okay, they were okay. So these are kind of just for, I don't know, a snacky day. We'll see. Yeah, and that's everything in my freezer. And I just have ice cubes up here. Nothing too crazy or fancy, just kind of some freezer meals when we're feeling like we just need some munchy food or something simple for dinner and that's what's up there. So let's get into the grocery haul of everything that I actually bought at Aldi today. Okay, so starting over here with our produce, I have bananas and I was really glad that I found such green bananas because if you can see my messy counters, I already have bananas, apples, oranges and lemons up there. So we have a few bananas. So we'll give these some time to ripen. I got some peaches in here. And they did have single peaches, but with the size of our family and the way that my kids eat fruit, it just made sense to grab. I never used to even understand like big bags of things like this because it would always go bad when it was just like me, my husband, or even when we had just one child. But now at this point, we could go through this bag in one sitting almost. So very practical to get the big bags of fruit for us and some grapes, which my kids dug into. It does not sit well with me, but sometimes you do what you gotta do in the store, and they do munch on the grapes um, a little bit when we're shopping. We munch sometimes when we're shopping. It's, I, I don't love it, but it's, it's survival sometimes. I have a little helper. Chance, you could help mommy? And my other guys are over there just watching a movie while while mom films this. So I was fortunate enough, my husband joined me for shopping today, um, which I'm so grateful that we all get to shop because then we all get a say in the food that's in the house and the meals, so there's less complaining. Oh boy, D down goes the squash. So those were two, that wasn't the greatest, bud. Those were two butternut squashes in the back. And then my husband and I each had a cart because we have reached a point with the two kids that we don't exactly let them walk we want them in the cart but then we need two carts when we're shopping so my husband grabbed these potatoes like the little bite-sized guys and then I grabbed this giant bag of baby red which we will definitely eat everything at some point potatoes last a good while but I thought it was funny we got like two forms of potatoes what do you have there chance tomatoes you have tomatoes he's got something in his hair I don't even know how will we What do you see? What do you see? Okay, back to the grocery haul. So tomatoes, we have mixed greens for a little salad, some celery. I'm kind of planning for like a homeschool snack this week um, for all the kids to be involved. We'll do like peanut butter and raisins. I call it ants on a log, pretty, I don't know if I'm dating myself, but ants on a log celery, peanut butter, raisins, we can kind of play with our food. Maybe we'll have apples and that'll kind of be like a snack and then also get the kids involved and everything. Um, so zucchini and then some peppers. We like to put those with eggs in the morning. Come back around and strawberries as well. And now he's back there. Hi buddy. Okay, so some strawberries, two things of strawberries. Okay, bath time is happening right now, so if you guys hear some chaos, just know my husband is safely bathing our kids, but we have three boys, and bath time is a full circus. Okay, so some juice. Uh, we broke into this on the way home. We haven't had orange juice in a while, and the kids wanted some. I really should have grabbed two, but uh, I got one. And then I have been waiting for apple cider. I was very excited to find this. To be honest, I might go grab a cup right after we're done. Um, right after I'm done filming, because I, I love apple cider, I love all the fall things, so that, I was really excited to find that. So this is all of the meat we got, and I especially love Aldi for their meat options. They have organic, free range, grass fed, all the good stuff, uh, meat, and so basically, let's see, we got the boneless pork shoulder roast with barbecue seasoning, my husband grabbed this. Honestly, I, I'm not feeling pork lately, so we'll probably make it for him and then I'll, I might have to make something else because we just had pork and I, it's not my favorite. But I throw this in the crock pot and it's really great for sandwiches or even like on mac and cheese, like a barbecue mac and cheese. Maybe we'll do something like that. Um, 
but yes, so then two steaks, and like I said, grass-fed beef. Uh, it's not organic, but grass-fed nonetheless. It just tastes different too. It's a little bit of better option for you um, with what they feed their cattle, it would be called, right? I'm having just like a brain freeze right now. Okay, so some organic chicken. I got two of those. And then organic grass-fed ground beef, three, three of those. Yep, so this will be good for like tacos or making homemade meatballs if we're doing like spaghetti, um, anything like that. I did make chili last week, but like I said, with the apple cider, I'm really into all like the fall comfort foods, so maybe I have to make chili again, <laughs> we'll see. Speaking of comfort food or fall flavors, pumpkin harvest crisp for Chubani flip yogurts. This is a four pack, so that's super tasty. We did get some freezer food um, and these hash brown patties. These are super tasty for breakfast with some eggs. Oh, some more meat. Uncured beef hot dogs and they do have the organic and this is spinach chicken sausage. So this is even good cut up like with pasta or in buns or just you know alone with whatever on the side. These are tasty. I'll throw those over here and then some uncured ham and this is even great for just like ham and cheese um, little sandwiches or just something to munch on like for light lunch i like to give this to the kids with cheese little crackers some fruit or some chippies or chippies i'm a, you tell me mom of little kids <laughs> um or pretzels or something so i do like to have also for breakfast sandwiches um, so we got the bluebell ice creams. These were really, I thought, like relatively priced. It just kind of gives us like a little bit of, you know, if you're having a sweet tooth instead of going out for ice cream or something like that, these are great. So we got just a normal vanilla. This flavor is cookies and cream. And then Millennium Crunch. I don't even know what's in that. Let's see. Chocolate, caramel chunks, pecans, almonds, walnuts. Okay. I'm not like a huge nut fan in my ice cream but that actually sounds good um and then chocolate chip cookie dough and then just some regular fries and like i said as far as like the way that i'm eating and the way my family's eating the meals that we're making we're trying to be budget friendly not exactly eating out but being practical with what we know we'll eat and then also trying to like satisfy those cravings of like oh we want kind of like that you know breakfast sandwich or those little hash brown patties when you do like a breakfast on the go or french fries with a sandwich or um, burgers or something like that. Like just trying to have practical food for our family while also buying organic when we can and just shopping in the most affordable, healthy way and learning along the way. So that's kind of, as you can see, and I'm moving on, my husband absolutely loves corned beef hash. Like it is a childhood favorite for him. Hit corned beef hash is his or I'm sorry, is my macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese is like my childhood favorite. It's just kind of what I grew up with, loving the comfort food. Um, so corned beef hash is his. So I do not eat this, the kids don't, but he does. And so I'll make that with eggs for him. And so he grabbed two cans of that. And we did grab some black beans. We did get some fruit strips. These are wild berry and strawberry. And then we are actually going to um, a friend's house tomorrow for the football Sunday. And so I'm making some dips. So I grabbed, well, random, I got some cane sugar. And then I did grab some yellow corn chips, but two bags of those to bring to a party. We dipped into this bag of pretzels and then I got another bag, but that's why that's open. So some pretzels and then I'm bringing the chips, one or two bags of chips to the party. Um, and then we got a pizza under here. It's just a big cheese pizza, like a huge cheese pizza. They're massive pizzas. Um, and then cheese. There is a ton of cheese because we're making dips for the party tomorrow, or I'm making dips for the party tomorrow. So Mexican cheese blend, and then mozzarella, and some string cheese for the kids. There's that, and then slices if I didn't already point out those. Um, and then I do have some eggs. We did grab a bunch of these little food pouches. My youngest guy really likes these, and sometimes my, um, my middle guy too. It's just a nicer way to be able to get some hidden veggies in um, because they like these little pouches. They're organic, they're reasonably priced, and yeah, I kind of just sneak some veggies in along the way um, with these. So we stocked up on those. And then chicken bone broth. Bone broth is so good for you, it's so healthy for you. I like to cook rice in it. You can cook pasta in it, you can use it in soups, you can use it as a base for chili if you're using any type of um, like liquid to soak your beans or whatever. And so also 
I already said soups, right? Yeah, so it just has like a versatile use and it's really good for you. Some butter. And then we did get a little treat. We got these pumpkin cookies. I got other cookies too, but oh my God, we were so bad. We broke into those too. We got like those peanut butter ones that are like Girl Scout cookies. So we did get cookies. I had to get some paper towels. We got like our, our homeschool thing. I plan to do a video about everything, um, but we got our little homeschool area. If, if this background looks a little bit new to you because we've started school, um, so I am gonna do a video about that. But yes, so we did get some paper towels, some gallon bags at the top, and oh, some hidden back here. I did get two things of biscuits. I'm gonna do like a crock pot chicken pot pie. Super tasty, you make the biscuits, you put, well first you put the chicken, cream of chicken soup, and then like a bag of frozen mixed veggies in the crock pot all day, and then you make the biscuits right when you're gonna eat, and you pour it over the biscuits, and it's like a uh, pot pie, like a chicken pot pie, and it's super tasty. So that is everything. Not a huge haul, but as you can see with what was in my fridge and then what we got here, we have plenty for the week for meals. I'm planning on the chicken pot pie, um, maybe something like barbecue pork sandwiches. My husband loves steak. My kids actually love steak too and eggs in the morning. So steak and eggs, we'll do fruit on the side um, with yogurt for snack. We have the ham, we do little ham and cheese with pretzels or crackers, something of that nature for kind of lunch throughout the week. And then just, you know, yogurt. We can do tacos, we can do a meat sauce with pasta. And then you guys saw I did have a little bit of meat in my fridge as well. So we'll be using that um for things throughout the week as well and this is everything that we grabbed from aldi thank you so much for watching guys and if you like what you see make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for all my latest content which i will be posting more um and it's good to be back <laughs>